Welcome into another one-on-one -on -one session here at OK Preps Media Day. I'm Michael Knight standing here with more standout Daniel Highshaw. Daniel, you had a uh, breakout season last year uh, for more as uh, you became kind of a, a human highlight reel where you were putting up some big numbers. Uh, talk about last season and, and kind of going from a guy who maybe is flying under the radar to a guy, you know, making big time plays on Friday nights. I mean, uh, last season, it was, it was a good season. <coughs> You know, uh, towards the end of the season, you know, we kind of came together. We started doing a little better, you know, started winning more games, kind of competing a little more. Team came together more, you know what I'm saying? So it felt good. Talk about uh, the the year last year for this offense where, um, you know, you as a, a player, you know, you were able to make a lot of things happen, whether it was, you know, on offense, on defense. Just talk about, you know, being a part of this team and, and kind of turning the corner for, for more football, which, you know, ha has been struggling a little bit in, in recent memory, but it seems like you guys are starting to turn things around. Yeah. I mean, you know, offense, you know, I definitely couldn't do that without a lot of people around me, especially my linemen. So, I mean, once I get past them, you know, that next level, then it's me. You know, and then, uh, you know, I think last year it kind of, like, made us, like, kind of think, like, we can actually change it up. We can actually start winning this. Like, and that's why, you know, people try and get me a leave, all that, go to different schools. No, we try and change up a tradition at more. No losing. We win it now. Uh, talk about, you know, the, we, we mentioned you played a little offense, a little defense last year. What do you like more? What do you like more, playing offense or defense? I like either one. I'll go hit you and I'll go score on you. So. Did a lot right. of that last year, so I, I don't blame you. Uh, what are you starting to hear as far? I mean, it's still pretty early. You, you're finishing up your sophomore year, going into your junior. A lot of things can happen between now and when you graduate. But what are you starting to hear as far as uh, the recruiting process and, and things like that? Are schools starting to reach out to you now? Yeah, I got I got a lot of schools coming, looking at my tape, talking to me, kind of watching us at practice. You know, so yeah, I got I got schools coming to me. What's that like for a young guy? Because, you know, like I said, you, you're, you're finishing up your sophomore year and, you know, colleges are starting to come around and starting to say, hey, look, you got a, a, a real future here. I mean, yeah, it's a lot of things hitting me, but at the same time, like my dad always prepared me for this stuff. He told me it's going to happen. You know, I believed it was going to happen. So it's not nothing too surprising, but, you know, I'm handling it. Uh, let's talk about before a big game. Are you are you a superstitious guy at all? Do you have any pregame rituals that that you have to do the same way every time? You know, I gotta I gotta turn up with the beats home. You know, listen to some Drake. You know, last year it was some little Uzi. I don't know who is gonna be this year, but yeah, I gotta bump for a game. It just don't feel right. There you go. Hey, that that's kind of been the consensus for Daniel. I'm Michael Knight. This has been another one-on-one -on -one session here at OK Preps Media Day.